Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Armed and Dangerous episode 11 with uh, Mission 11 Roman's Law Diversion. Keep the King's men occupied while all the Lionhearts get the keys. Set the oppressed iron mine workers free. Get nine presents to their home. Follow your compass. Da -da -da. We've, ra we've already read that once before. Gotta save those peasants! Uh, yeah, another rescue mission. But this time we need to rescue nine peasants. Uh, most in the game, I believe. And we almost immediately get the jumper pan. And yeah, the workers are all around the place, like there. You can't destroy these. And of course, it's going really. And of course, it's crawling with enemies everywhere, on multiple levels even. So be careful. If you're getting shot at, you're probably getting shot at. They're probably above you. Uh, yeah, I think the enemies are on infinite loop, uh, on infinite spawn here, uh, but they spawn more, uh, more often. If I am right about that, then of course, snipers and jumper captains. I'm going to try and avoid combat as much as I can, but if I get, but if I get caught in the corner, uh, I'll have to definitely have to fight myself out. A peasant right over there. Oh, for some reason, that's setting me up at an angle. I wouldn't want to go. Okay. Really have to concentrate with this because we really are getting attacked from all sides. And yeah, there's one of these around. Okay. Uh, yeah, the compass keeps pointing towards the nearest peasant. So you'll have to look for the house on your own. Yourself. No, you'll have to look for the houses yourself. Okay, I believe those are the only two houses right here, and the other ones are over there behind that gate. So might as well get a few more peasants while we're at it. Doing pretty good so far, it seems. Uh, token, forgot to look where the token is. I think it is one in one of the mine shops. And let's get rid of that to lessen the flow of enemies. There's one. And that was a rocket attack in some. Oh, another one! Uh, that should take care of it. Yes, it does. is here so before I I'll just uh, deliver all but one of the peasants and then I when I get that one I'll look where the, where the token is hidden if I can't find it on my own oh, you that one didn't even say anything oh another barracks more destruction, of course. You're free. You hear me? Free. Uh, Toby, I've never asked this before, but uh, would you hold my hand? I mean, Sam. Sam, I got from the beach early, really, really early this morning. Okay, shotguns should clear some heavily, more heavily protected parts out of me. A lot easier. Uh, can't destroy that gate, it seems. Wrong button. Uh, yeah, another one right here. Quick look, because as I said, I think the token is in one of these mines. And this also leads us behind the gate. Okay. I don't trust a place where you can't see the sun. Never had that uh, dialogue before. Yeah. Quickest way to get around is by just jumping and uh, 
retracting uh, the you know, wings. They'll continue there in one of the mines or in one of these teammates. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's 11. One more for as the go goes a lot. Uh, kinda missed that. But uh, yeah, I got it. Another peasant here. Whoa, bullseye there. But, uh, yeah. Got to have with this rocket guy because it seems for some reason there are a lot of them now. Okay, last two. One is up there, and that was another bullseye for one of the rocket guys. <laughs> Anyone's getting really trigger happy. Hey, get your hand off my arm. And the last one's right here. Hey, get your hand off my arm. Uh, two homophobics in a row. And there we go. You are a true champion of the people. Without workers, this evil man will grind to a halt. The onions don't mind themselves, you know? Sire, we don't have much time. They're nearing the Wildwood. The Wildwood Gate has stood impassable since the Lesser Onion War. But one of our spies tells us they are seeking out the Lady of the Pond. She has the key Legends. of... Legends. No such person. But that does give me an idea. Stig, I have a mission for you. What are you doing? Stig, do experiment. Uh. Ah, interesting. Please, son, tell us all about it. Stick grind teeth into calcium dust. Right, well, stop that. I want you to take a division of my soldiers and head to the Wildwood Abbey. Uh, sire, wouldn't it be better if... Silence! Prince Stig is ready to lead an army. We must show the people his natural talent for leading men-at-arms, even if it is against a foe that won't even be there. Prince Stig, your army awaits. Go, my son. Go down there and lead them into battle. Now, the true power of... Use the stairs! Oh, you dear. Well, what now? Patience! She will appear when she's ready. What does that mean? When she's had her hair done? After the gills have been waxed? Oh, this is pointless. Oh, oh, Jonesy! What? Well, what did he, what did he just do? Well, Rex, put it this way. Your beloved Lady of the Pond is now lying face down in the water with some major head trauma. It was a bleeding accident. Well, get her out. Oh. Oh. Hello, nice to meet you. What? Who? We're here for the, um, great keys of, uh... You? You for a rocket, me? No, I didn't. You tripped as you were coming out of the pond. I... Pond? What was I doing in the pond? Why, you live there. You are Zembeline, the great lady of the pond. Ha! What a bunch of rubbish. It's true. We are here for the legendary keys of Zardos. <laughs> what are you talking about? My name's Sarah Hillman from the next village. I run a homeless shelter for startled sheep. Now go and play your pathetic D&D games elsewhere. <laughs> I can't even swim, you silly man. She's been in that pond for over 2,000 years. Jonesy, you idiot. Well, then she should at least know how to dodge skipping rocks. Hey, what's that? The keys of Zardos.